Hi guys, welcome back for your mid-month 2019 January reading. Those of you who are new, a very warm welcome and return beast. Welcome back, guys. Okay, yes, the banner behind me is a different name to the channel I'm on. I am literally working on both channels. I know, crazy, right? Okay, so if you are a twin flame and you wish to follow the other channel, feel free to jump through. I do give away free readings on both channels as well as during the live sessions on both channels. I do give them away during that time and answer questions. Booking system is exactly the same website for both. So again, the link is directly below if you're wishing to make a booking. And if you subscribe to the actual website, when I have specials coming through, you'll be notified of them. Now, as for this month at Yilda's Readings, we have monthly and mid-month, and that's for love and general. So you'll get four videos during the month, plus live sessions with the astrology and the giveaways. Now, as for mid-month for you guys in your romantic sphere, let's get into it. You're feeling run down in your frequency and trying to get something up and off the ground. It may be you don't feel as vital within the spiritual connection. Even trying to move towards you or them, how do I put it? The passion factor may not be there, but it's due to fatigue. It's not due to you, okay? It is a real run-down frequency. It's, it's really lacking in oomph, and it's due to external situations going on. It might be you're burning the midnight candle, okay? And that's on both sides, partnered. Or, you know, if you've just connected with this person, really be mindful that you guys might be having incredibly late nights. Now, this can be, like I said, if you're waiting for this person to come back, the midnight oil is directly working. I'm not feeling a separate romantic interest. But for those of you that are partnered, if you're together, you're staying up very late, okay? You need to balance yourselves. There could also be some conflict at a mini level. But they really need to be mindful of their, their balance within this. They may feel spiritually they don't quite know how to deal with something and how to get something off the ground. Moving forward, I am feeling as though the frequency is going to be more grounded and they might have some downtime. Now, initially I'm feeling they're really meditating upon a situation with you. Again, I am saying water. They're very, I don't know what this connection is. Look, they have a connection to water. Water is a very important component for this zodiac sign for some reason. It might be you're a water sign, but I'm really feeling very separately. It's literally water therapy helps them. Now, any aches and pains they're having, it might be an injury in the shoulder. They need to be, but I feel it's more tension related. They also want to give you a lot of things. So even if you guys haven't reconciled, for instance, or reconnected or connected in general and you're inquiring about this person, this person in general in relation to partnerships wishes to give a lot. But in the past, they've really been burnt by that factor, even if they've done such to you. It's, it's they've been burnt. So they've got this ideal of what a male or a female does and they're wanting to give more. Um, in their connections they really do want to open up more to be able to provide that to you and it can be that they're being very critical but they've sort of got two sides to them one side comes across like it's not so the other side is super serious and it really wants to get into the cracks of things they feel that they're balancing two situations in their life and I really do feel it's more it can be the old world versus the new world or work versus love they're really putting on two hats at the moment i don't feel this is a um, a nasty energy i feel it's more a balancing act that they're trying to maintain in relation to connections they're having an awareness that in the past they really moved against the grain of what tradition was right wedding in reverse some of them may have left a connection some of them, their idea of relationships is very different now. Yep, 
Interesting. They really feel as though the people and the dreams they move towards really scarred them. It's almost like in some shape or form, emotionally or spiritually, they feel they're fighting for life. But the demons that are around them have been things that have been there at all times. And with you, they're really having to face them. They're trying to detox them out. And it may be, especially when you're going through an aspect of a transformation, you can become quite run down. Some of you, I am seeing a tattoo with two love hearts. And I don't know whether that's a future thing or... Uh, but I'm seeing two love hearts. And they're in a very odd location. They don't... The past tense connection. This is a long time ago. I feel this... In relation to family, I don't feel it was a connection they physically had, but it did shape their connections. There may be, for some of you dealing with it, that you're looking at leaving a situation. Some of you also might want to communicate with the person you feel is your one. Or be waiting on this communication, but I feel it's more they're communicating. As an Aries. I do feel a Sagittarius around this person. And I feel this person is balancing them out. Again, it might be the Saturn energy coming through as well. At a very separate level. And I do feel the communication is going to be in relation to a massive change in life. A massive change in their own world. Money having lost, but having gained back. You have two to three aspects of communication coming in. Some may be via the grapevine. Others might be directly from source, as in maybe a position or an email, an SMS. I'm feeling this message comes through when the sky is pink and there's, I'm seeing water on the floor, so this might be a different location in the world, the frequency I'm picking up. It's almost like when the sky has that hue of pink and you can see a shadow in the puddles of water, but it's pink. I'm seeing pink. They're going to communicate about an aspect of loss, but I feel they're at a loss how to explain what has been going on. A lot of what has been going on inside their life, they're going to communicate to you. And it can go it can go vice versa. You may have felt a bit angry about some things that have happened, but I feel the way you're looking at life, Aries, is very, you're trying to get grounded. You have an expectation of what you want to give in this connection. You've had to be very guarded due to previous situations. You really do want to communicate to, this to the person. But you're cautious as to not to come across brash. You also feel... How do I put it? That the person you do love dearly, but you also know this person doesn't muck about. This is your love interest, right? I feel as though you guys are looking at them and thinking, if I don't make a move soon, this person's going to get really peeved off. And I do feel you're aware of what they're capable of. I don't feel it's a nasty energy. I feel it's a frustrated energy, but you also know their capacity. You are coming correct, but you need to explain perhaps, you know, how you're feeling, what you're dealing with. There may be a situation you need to accept um, at a path set that you need to maybe limit the amount you're doing how do I put it delegate tasks because the stress levels on you are very separately to connections but then come to the connection or connections 
you get wary about it and it hinders you being more open. So it actually adds to that aspect of a burden and then the communication shuts down. You are well aware that a big judgment is going to be made. This can be in relation to your love life and what you're going to do from here. I do feel there is an energy coming through for some of you that, you know, you need to face these wounds ASAP because being in the hangman position will especially with the frequency of this person you're thinking of dealing with or in love with can cause conflict so the sooner you deal with the 3d nature of things the better because it can become a very stagnant energy that becomes frustrating for the partner and i feel you're aware of this so those of you who are dealing with a direct person this is the energy that's coming through okay Yeah, communicate. That's what you're guided to do. So if you're in love with someone, again, communicate. Your 3D related dynamics that are going on are going to sort out, but I do feel for you at a romantic level, any partner you are trying to involve yourself with, even with the realisation of you feeling quite burdened, try and keep the balance there and communicate your truth. And if it does become too much, you may need to step back. But I do feel you'll communicate your truth and try and keep balance. And I'll see you during the month.